what is going on back there so just back here for some more youtube videos for the next tutorial in our java um tutorial exactly so um ito na guys yung sinasabi ko na we're going to sort na rin yung array list natin gamit yung double yo so i mean what what i mean is sorting our data from our array list uh, base doon sa ang tawag dito so base sa grade which is of type double data type. So, how do we sort it? So, so sort lang, lang naman natin from ascending and um, vice versa. So, the end descending. So, uh, alisin na natin to. So, alisin natin tong part na to. Because, ito yung sinort na to. So, you can comment it out or sa akin, alisin ko na lang. So, ganyan. So, let's check kung tama ba yung curly brackets. So, it's good. We're good. Up. Oh. Yes, we're good. So, ito na. Um, so, we're going to sort this. Um, lagay natin dyan name. Then, plus natin. Um, kung natin grade. Ganyan. Then, it's just an S dot. Get grade. Ganyan. So, so bali, ang mangyari is, ipiprint lang naman. Yung, yung dating data na napaka- um, yung the way na linagay natin so it takes kind of long so my computer is so um, long so again yan so ayan yung ano yung the name na 2.7 so naka arrange siya in order sa pag add natin the way we add so ganyan so we're going to sort it um, later so how do we sort it um, so bago ako magsimula I hope na may alam na kayo sa array list may alam na kayo uh, at least napanood nyo yung first um, tutorial ko about sorting which is the int comparator so if in if in the I'll post the playlist yung playlist ko sa java I'll post it um the description below and nandun lang siya sa last part ng um, playlist so yun this is the latest actually kasi so eto na so ang gagawin lang naman natin is gagawa lang, nam lang naman tayo ulit ng comparator dati lang naman pero this time it's a double. Um, so, I mean grade of type double, of course. So, let's just name it grade comparator. Dati lang naman. So, makita nyo lang ang pinagkaiba. So, public class grade comparator implements comparator. And yan, then student. Bakit student? Because, yun nga, the type of student ang inaano natin. Ang, ang tawag dyan, um, we're, we're trying to sort so ganun, the data type actually the type which is student nga so at override bucket nga ulit may override to override the method kung maga again to change na yung mga values na yung mga sort to override from the word itself i override or something overwritten or papalitan so tatlong beses ko na yan sinabi so i really dope na at least na panood yung mga previews so again dati lang public int compare ganyan so then in this part you just put um student student so let's take a guide guide natin to so actually pareho lang naman kasi guys wag na to so integer kasi yan so let's ito yung name comparator so student um student for example g1 then student G2. Para may iba naman. So, dito, we're just going to return um, return G1 dot get grade minus G2 dot get grade. Ganyan. Pero, nagkakos ng error. Why? Because, guys, as I've said, it is a type of double. So, we are trying to subtract here a data type of type double. Diba? So, yung getter natin dito is actually a type of ang tawag dito, ala, asan yun? Ito, yung getter natin, which is a type of double. So, yung return value naman nito is actually um, an integer. So, um, kumbaga, semantically or semantically speaking, mali, hindi siya pwede. So, paano natin gagawin to? So, all we have to do is the type cast natin siya. So, parang alam niyo na natin yung type cast. So, ganito, int ganyan. Type cast. So, 
Ganyan. Pero this is not yet correct. This is not yet correct. So, the correct way to do this because, yes, um, kung minus natin to, I mean, sinubtract, uh, mag-aano siya ng ano, pero there, there, there are sometimes na cases na, kung maga, there are sometimes na cases na mali yung, ano, yung pagkaka-convert. So, basically, typecast means parang, eto, for example, um, the, ang tawag dito, yung result nito na G1 minus G2, i-convert sa int gamit ito. So, basically, typecasting. So, yun nga, minsan, ang nangyayari is hindi na convert sa tamang ano, hindi, kumbaga, hindi accurate. So, the way to do it oh, is to multiply the G1 and the G2 by a thousand. So, depende. For example, um, for example, um, asa ba yung grade natin? So, Asan ba natin yun yan? So, eto, 2.7. So, basically, 2.7, ito times natin dyan by, uh, for example, 1,000. So, pag tinimes natin si 2.7, 1,000, so, basically, magiging siyang 2.7, for example, 2.7 times times uh, 1,000, ganyan. So, basically, um, ang answer niya is 2,700. So, in that part, integer na siya. Diba? na Nag-gets yung logic. So, ganun. So, pareho din dito sa G2. So, we're just going to multiply them. Um, a thousand. So, ganyan. Thousand. Then, dito. Um, oops. A thousand. One, two, three. So, it's better to put, um, what do you call this? Ang tawag dito? A parenthesis. Somewhere here. Then, ganyan. So, I hope parang alam niya rin to, the rule. So, uunahin tong it gagawin, parang PEMDAS. So, PEMDAS ang ano niya, rule. So, ganito na. Ganito na. So, ganun, ganun lang naman ka simple. So, eto na, for example, our grade nga here is 2.7. So, times 1,000. So, 1,000, then 2,700 ata. So, same goes with here. So, it, it logically, kumbaga, a great way to make it an integer talaga. So, accurate. Very accurate. Then, eto, kumbaga, eto na lang is, uh, parang, i, i, anong tawag dyan? To, um, convert it, um, into an integer for more. Kumbaga, mas lalo. Because, kung gusto guys talagang malaman, um, ganito, so, ganito kasi yan, um, for example, 2.7 nga dito, tinimes natin sa 1,000, Deep inside sa computer, um, it's actually, ano kasi, considered pa yan as a double. Ganyan. So, yun kasi, um, a double kasi can store um, integer type, mga ano. Pero, ang integer, it cannot store a double. Parang ganun. So, once na minultiply ito, yun nga, it's a thousand. Then, pero deep inside in the, sa computer na kung saan man yun na store, it um yung 2700 na yun is actually um a double data type so etong typecasting na to is a great way to um convert it into para mabasa talaga na integer talaga yan so parang ganun so yun na nga i've explained it na <laughs> so yun eto na nagawa natin just save it then dito let's just print it out using um system.out.println um, sorted by grade. So, ganyan. So, ano yung way? So, for student, for my collection of, of type student, which I call, for example, um, J in my ST collection. Then, let's just print system that out that print lin. Oh, mali. Nauna yung ano natin. So, Ganyan. I-ano pala natin is collections dot sort. So, if nag-error sa inyo, just control shift i to import the java.util.collections package. So, ganun. So, we put here, ilalagay natin dito is yung um, the array list, the reference variable of our array list, which is eto. Yung tinatry natin is sort by the grade. Then, our comparator. So, new ang tawag doon? Um, grade comparator. Ganyan. 
So magtatanong kayo bakit new? Cause basically nga it's a class. So we are uh, making an instance of an object from that class. So new meaning kung baga gumawa ka ng bagong object ganon. So dito 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 nangyari yung pag sort ganyan. So Ganyan, so for blah 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 blah, so ito na, dito nangyari pag-sort, sorted by grade, sinort niya, dito mangyayari yung pag-sort, isosort niya, then binigyan natin ng comparator, again, alam niyo na kung bakit binibigyan natin ng comparator, so sa mga hindi nakakalam, um, para, kumbaga, for example, um, binibigyan natin ng comparator, cause something in the algorithm sa collection.sort, for example, 2.7 and 3.2, um, yung comparator natin ang gagamitin para malaman ng, ng algorithm na yan kung ano man yung um, the way na algorithm na yan para malaman um, kung sino bang dapat mauna kung si 2.7 ba or si 3.2 so kaya nga from the word itself comparator like a comparing thing so ganun so let's just copy paste this pinapera pa natin sa sarili natin so Pero, let's also change the, tama, J, J. So, eto na guys. So, let's um, X this, X. So, once we run this, kung makikita nyo, 2.7, <coughs> excuse me, 2.7, 3.2, 1.2, 1.6, 3.0. So, this is the part, eto yun, um, arrange siya yung not sorted, the way we add it. So, in the sorted, 1.2, 1.6, 2.7, 3.0, and 3.2. So, arrange siya by um, its grade, which is a double layer type. So, ganun lang naman, guys. So, what if kung gusto nyong, ang tawag dito, um, um, in descending order, so, mauna yung mas malaki. So, just put here a negative sign. So, basically, the negative sign, um, kumbaga, kung isipin nyo, negative, so, inuuna yung, ano, kumbaga, guys, um, it's kinda hard to explain parang a lot. Um, let me think of it. Nasa, ano na ng tanko. It's kinda hard to explain kasi, uh, hindi ko ma, ano, sa words. Parang the negative, um, nalagyan dito ng negative. Kumbaga, kumbaga, once you subtract this, um, once you subtract this, now, um, it just gives na, na, basta guys, yung negative na, ano, parang, so, yan lang talagang technique, yan lang talagang technique, so, it kind of gives, di ko talaga ma-explain sa tango kung ano yan, so, parang naisip ko lang kung papaano, kung na-imagine ko lang kung ano nangyayari, pero di ko maano sa, on my own, on my own words, so, just think of it guys, na this is the way, and, Ganyan lang. So, when we run this, so, baka mag, ma, ano sa, ano ko. So, when we run this, ayan. So, 3.2, 3.0, 2.7, 1.6, and 1.2. Ganyan. So, sorted siya in descending order, meaning na una yung mas mataas kaysa sa mas bababa. So, yun lang naman guys. Yun lang naman. So, I really do hope na may tutunan kayo. So, what if kung, um, um, for example, 2.77. So, depende yan. You can also add, depende sa number of digits nyo. You can also add, for example, at 10,000. Depende yan sa uh, the digits of your grade. So, ganun lang naman. Ganun lang naman. So, thank you guys again for watching this video tutorial. So, I really do hope na naiintindihan nyo. So, um, ipahabol ko na lang next ano kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng negative na to so parang kumbaga guys um, kumbaga the negative parang kumbaga kaya nga negative parang binabaliktad lang naman so pa nag result so yung negative ang inuuna cause baliktad nga parang diba the sign of a negative is parang baliktad do. so masa negative yun so yun yung unain kasi Inagyan mo ng negative. Parang, parang ganoon. Parang ganoon. So, yun yung guys. Basta, wag niyo nang problema yan. Cause, eto lang yung paraan. So, in this um, comparator thing, ang iniintindi lang naman natin dito is yung ginagawa natin comparator. Kasi, truly, um, sa totoo lang, hindi natin alam kung 
ano yung algorithm nito or kung paano siya sinasort. So, maybe you can search it on the internet kung um, how do collections.sort, kung paano ba talaga sinasort, kung anong ginagamit na sorting algorithm, ganun-ganun. So, yun guys. Thank you again for watching this video tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. So, if na enjoy kayo and may natutunan kayo, please subscribe <laughs> and hit the like button. So, for more tutorials, just subscribe, okay? So, uh, yun. So, thank you again, guys. Thanks and I'm out.